In this video I will determine the best pistol, rifle and also light machine gun just for the fun. In Isonzo by the use of a weighted matrix. If you do not know how it works, please check this video I made. Let me explain my methodology before we dive into the numbers. There will be a lot of Excel tables in this episode. This document is available on my Discord server or by link in the video description. A weighted matrix requires metrics to be ranked. For metrics I did include rate of fire, damage, reload speed, magazine capacity, aim down the side speed as well as the ability to reload the gun before emptying its magazine. All of these metrics are represented by a number and are objective. Note that for the intraclip reload I use a binary approach where 0 means that it does not allow intraclip reload while a 1 means that it does. Uh, you lot helped me out by determining weights. You did so by taking a short survey I posted on Friday and I stopped it on Monday. Thank you for helping out, I really appreciate it. I calculated averages for each question and ranked them accordingly. For fun I added an extra question with which I wanted to see whether I should use aiming down the side speed, by the way this metric will be abbreviated to ADS, and I used it anyway even though the results were more opposing it. I made three weighted matrices and I used the average to determine the rank of a gun. Version 1 or V1 included weights as whole numbers that I got from ranking your answers. V2 includes the average value you attributed to the metric. For version 1 and 2 I was evaluating things on a scale from 1 to 3, where I tried to have it resemble thirds. One was for the bad result and three was for a good one. I did color code with green, yellow and red for easier work. Version 3 however was evaluated differently. There I either gave 1 for results above average and 0 for everything below. For the binary system I also used the color code where I left blank everything that was above average and everything else I colored red. The weights were the same as in version 1. Before I forget, for rifles you will see that I have the sniper version of the Gewehr 98. That's because its stats differ compared to the normal rifle. For the Mandicher and Carcano this was not the case, the stats are identical there. So let us see version 1 for pistols first. So here we can see that the rate of fire is highest on the Reich's revolver, Frommerstop, uh, Beretta, medium it's for the yellow one, so for the Luger, C96, Steyrhan, Glissenti, but I will not be talking about this. You can take a look and pause the video if need be or download the file to have a better look yourself. From the version 1 we get that Frommerstop is the best, it's followed by the Beretta, and third place is divided between the Reich's revolver and C96. Let's go to the version 2. Here only the weights are different. And again, in the first place we have Romer Stop. In the second one we have Beretta. And in the third one we have the C96. Version 3, this is the one where I awarded the one only if the value was above average. You can see the averages here. Um, we get Steyrhan in the first place, Frommerstop is in the second and Reichslevorver takes the third place. And for the final evaluation, here I have the ranks from all three matrices. I calculated the average and from that Excel determined its rank. And as we can see, Frommer stop is, in, is the best pistol, Beretta is the second one and the Reich's revolver is in third place. The fourth and fifth place are divided between C96 and the Steyr Han. They are followed by the Luger, which is followed by the Rast und Gasser, 
which is followed by the Bodeo, and the last place is divided between Rothsteyer and Glissenti. Note that these ranks apply only for the metrics I was using. And it may vary if you do it yourself, because we might evaluate things differently, but I did try my best to be objective. That's why I use the three color coded one and I try to spread the results in more or less thirds while also keeping the values reasonable, which was more or less successful, I would say. But yeah, the results are, you know, I, I wouldn't have expected from her stop and Beretta to be on top. Uh, but the point is that these two guns, they did very well overall. Let's take a look here at the Beretta. Rate of fire is above average, damage is below average, reload speed is above average, magazine size is medium, aiming down the side is medium, and it allows intra-clip reload. And from her stop, similar, rate of fire is above average, damage is below average, reload speed is above average, magazine capacity is average, and aiming down the side is above average. So it's not that these guns are bad, or at least we think, but as we can see, the Frommer Stop and Beretta only did poorly in the damage department, where everywhere else they were at least average or more. Now let's see the rifles. Again, we can see the same approach by the color code. I tried to resemble thirds. Different people might get a different evaluation, so keep that in mind. Okay, by the version 1, we get the Vrendel to be the best rifle and it's contesting first place with the M88-90 and we have the M95 Stutzen in third place, etc. You can pause the video to check the other results or download the file. In the version 2, we just have different weights. Here we have the M88 to be the best rifle. It is followed by the M95 Stutzen. And third place is divided between M91 per Truppe Speciali and M91 for Cavalleria. Basically the Italian carabines. And version 3. Note here that because of the Gewehr 98 Graben magazine, this is the one that has like 20 bullets, the average reload time was very high, so I used instead the average without the Graben magazine. But yeah, let's see what we got. The M88 wins again. It's being contested with the Rendel. In second place, we don't have a second place because they are contested and it means it's first and second place. So in third place, we have the Gewehr 98 with Graben magazine. In fourth place, we have the M95 Stutzen and so on. Now let's see the final results. As mentioned earlier, here are the ranks from each version, the average and the rank. So in first place we have the M88, followed by the Rendel, followed by the M95 Stutzen, which is followed by the Gewehr 98 with the extended magazine. In fifth place we have Vetterle Vitali, and then we have three rifles containing the 6th, 7th and 8th place, which is the Infanterie Repetier M95 Mannlicher and both of the Italians M91 Carabines for Truppe Speciali and for the Cavalleria. 9th and 10th place is divided between the Gewehr 98 and Gewehr 88 05. 11th place we have Carcano M91. 12th place the Schenauer Mannlicher. 13th place Sniper of the Gewehr 98. 14th place is taken by the M13. 15th place is taken by the Carabiner. 98AZ, 16th place is the Carabiner 88 and the last one 
is the Vetterli. As I did say earlier and I did point out in my video about the weighted matrix, if you rank weights differently you will get a different result. As I wanted to be objective, I used your opinion. So I stand by my results and I think that the results I got show the weapons that by the numbers are best according to our parameters and weights. Okay, uh, the Randall, I am not... I mean, it's a meme gun. Sure, it has the highest damage and everything, but come on, you know, 3.5 second reload time between the bullets. It's just unacceptable. But, you know, we have people that love it, so that's what mathematics will say. And uh, I would say that you should always take things with a grain of salt. And also that you should put things into context, you know. Talking about putting things into context, subjective parameters, like your perception of a gun, its handling, how good the sight is, and of course, how good you are with the weapon, will actually represent the best rifle for you. My ranking is just to help you out with the numerical part. And finally, I also did a similar thing for the light machine guns. Here we have the first version. I use the same weights as were applied for the rifles. The same applies for the version 2 and the version 3 is the binary one. The only difference is that here I didn't use any color coding because it was not necessary. And what do we get? In version 1 we get the Matson in first place followed by the Willard Perosa and the MG0805-15 in third place. The MG08 was always in third place while the Villar Perosa has taken the first place either in version 2 and in version 3, which makes the Villar Perosa the best overall light machine gun, followed by the Matson and the MG08 is in the last place. I hope you found this video interesting. It took me quite some time to do it. And yeah, I hope this information is useful to you and share it like it you know comment do your own weighted matrices matrices change the parameters play around you know the point here was to teach you how to use a weighted matrix anyway that's all have a good day and see you on the battlefield gaming teacher out